well good morning MB 16 2019 Saturday the 30th November just come up to 6.30 only got a TR <laughs> it's nippy however I don't care running behind schedule as you would expect don't like that off to Costa now here's the thing silly names at Christmas this is Al Goods that's not a silly name uh, a Christmas Carol, 3.9% alcohol by volume. Just on. I'm still not entirely clear. I don't actually care. Anyway, Mr. Manny. Mmm, fruity. A bit sharp, malty. That's not bad, that is. I wouldn't call it a Christmas ale, but it's a nice ale. I know it's a stupid name, so B plus in a bit. Uh, super drink. They're ready. Yay. Still chilly. So, here's the thing. You need to come away to get beers that you can't get elsewhere. And I don't think you can get this elsewhere. This is French Blonde, but after the harvest, right and gentlemen over there, and the Hereford Beer House Home Brewers, and Ledbury Wheel Ales, maybe. Anyway, 5.5%. Nice volume for Mr. Manning, and we're off. Mm -hmm. Nice aroma. Mmm. Wow. Now, that's different. It's strong. That's sort of bubble gummy yeasty thing. Probably because French. I like that. B. And why not? Going around the world on a Christmas Belgium. Yeah, Noel. Should be this Santa Claus or Santa, whatever. Brasserie de Rank. XX Bitter is amazing. This is 7% and apparently licorice and yeasty. Mmm, really nice aroma. Rich, you yeah, haven't getting the licorice, strong, nicely bitter, strongly bitter, lingeringly bitter. Mm. And apparently, diet. Hello, I'm bulking up for winter, which started last January, a minus. I'm going all a little bit Belgian. This is a goose. Lindemann's Oud Gers V Runny 2018, 6% alcohol by volume, nicely effervescent. Ooh, the laptop, yeah, it renders, I wouldn't say ultimately speedily, but it's not bad, and it works for me. Mm. Slightly with the aroma, which is what you want. There's a hint of sweetness in it. It's really good. A minus, which is for me 3.9. I like that. I like that a lot. It's a good day today. I did look all these up. Okay, so fast tags, I think it's festival, and Conig Dool, I think it's King, um, and Conig Ludwig is King Ludwig Dimple, except that's not a Dimple, and I think it's Christmassy. Um, and we're talking 5.6. And uh, Koenig Ludwig Brewery, so uh, King Ludwig Brewery. 
has the original glass, and this one's for Toast TK. Because oh, half a litre, 0 0.5. Gentle smell of malt. Mm. Nice malty. It is really good actually. I can say P. I don't know the Germans, they're really good with the multi beers, and I like them a lot. Um, this is November Fest, but it's here anyway. Hereford, Belgium, Germany, Austin, Texas. Aaron Curry, Godfather. Oscar Blue Glory 1E IPA. I think it's 4% alcohol by volume. Let's have a look. 4%. Smells fruity. Mmm. That's a really nice. It tastes like a double IPA. P. He says. Leith, Edinburgh, Scotland, orange, green and fine from Pilot. Okay, there were huge amounts of yeast residue in here, which is fair enough. Anyway, this is my last because I'm sleepy. Smells orangey, orangey and fruity. 5.1% alcohol by volume, he says. Uh, fruity with a subtle orangey finish. Yeah, that's good. B plus plus three point five. Jimmy. Hey Aaron, you alright?